Hey, it's David from Redneck Garage. Well, I split the videos up today. Um, I did a search on YouTube trying to get some kind of instructional video on how to put a windshield in a uh, Jeep YJ, and really I didn't find any. Um, so I made a video just about the, the installation of the uh, the windshield. Uh, I had replaced the frame, so it's a brand new frame. It's not, a, it's not my used frame, which was too badly damaged to, to fool with. So here's the procedures that I used to install the new glass on the new frame. All right, here's my new windshield that I got on eBay. Shipped straight to the house. How cool is that? I can't remember how much it was, a hundred and something. But uh, that looks good. Now I gotta go find my glue and my uh, caulk gun. All right, so these are the required, required components to installing the windshield on a YJ. Um, we got urethane glass adhesive, right? Um, and this is primer to go around the glass for the pinch weld. We've got the rubber gaskets, the inside and the outside. How cool is that? New glass. And our frame is brand new, so there's no stuff that we have to deal with on the other side of it. Uh, as far as like gook, it's a brand new installation. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and get started getting it prepped. Test fitting some of my rubbers and seeing how they look. Okay, so we're prepping for the windshield and you want to scuff up the inner edge where the glass is going to be. Right, baby? Yes. You want to scuff that up so it has a good adhesion. And then we're going to prime it. Okay. This is our primer that came with my little kit. Uh, it's sunk black, some black liquid with a little rubby thing on here, and it's for the urethane to stick. Uh, if you were putting on a new windshield on an old frame, um, then it's a little bit less work because there's still there's already rubber on it, and you just have to clean it off. So we're just going to take the primer and go around this urethane ed this edge for the urethane to stick to. And this is pretty important because if you don't get to stick, then you'll have a water leak. And then if you have a water leak, then your frame will rust out. And that ain't good. So we're going to primer this around that edge. Okay, so our edge is all primered. Put my cap back on it. This stuff smells nasty too, by the way. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put our inner molding on the back side. And the thicker one is the inner one, and the thinner one is the outer one. Believe me, I, it took me a minute to figure that out. So you're just going to go around the edge. Working it around that bottom edge. This is your inner reveal. Making sure that it's all the way down. It's pretty deck, it's really just decoration. Now, my old truck didn't even have this on it. At some point, probably the windshield was replaced. And uh, they didn't put a full kit on it, they just put the outer reveal on it. Alright, so we got the back side on. It looks beautiful. Right here. 
And now I'm going to test fit my glass. When you're putting in your glass, you're looking for there's a, there's a decal. It says Jeep right there on the front, and you want it facing out. That looks nice. I'm going to look at my inner, my outer rubber, and see how that looks when I put it on. Okay, I'm going to let it sit here a minute on top of that rubber and push down uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put the urethane on it and then put our outer reveal on it and it'll be great. Okay, primering the glass along that edge where the rubber is going to be installed all the way around the bottom edge of the glass. This is auto glass urethane adhesive. It is made just for putting on auto glass. Uh, and I've got an electric uh, caulk gun. It helps me get a little bit more consistent um, layer. I gotta put the battery in it, that would be good. All right. Oh yeah, that's it. And we got it about to come out. So I'm going to go around with a pretty good bead. Let me tell you, if you were trying to do this by hand, it would be a huge pain because it's really cranking down on this electric car gun. Okay, so I've got a bead going all the way around and I want to make sure that there's no breaks in it. Where there's a break, I can just kind of take my finger and move it together. This stuff is thick, man. Let me tell you, thick, thick, thickety thick. Okay, how's it look, baby? Right there. This side's a little thick right there, too. Okay. All right, we're ready to lay our windshield down. We got our Jeep out on the bottom. Yep, like that, okay. I got you. I'm going to just set it in there on the goopity goop. And it is goopy. Now when you're putting it in, you want to try to get it centered up as best you can as far as the gap goes. And then just gently press down on it. All the way around. I can see that the sealant's coming out. That's good. Looks good, huh, babe? I think it needs to be pushed in. It helps the gap down there on your end. Pretty wide. Okay, yeah. I think it just needs to come towards you. You might want to check. Just push, if you think it is. You don't know? I need you to come look, because I, I don't know. I didn't see your end. That looks fine. Okay, now we're going to put on our gasket. 
the gasket goes, you start at the bottom and then you're going to work your way around. We can't worry about that now. We got to get this on, babe. I know, but we're working. Get to work, woman. Woman, get to work. Get to work, woman. Okay, the battery died on one camera. Get to work, woman. Hey. Hi, Pooh. So, look at that. Got a windshield in it. Got the uh, hardware for the hinges put back on. Randy helped. He actually helped, yeah. Yeah. Why? So the windshield looks really good. Really, it was pretty clear cut as far as putting the windshield in itself. The only uh, suggestions that I would have is if you're going to use that urethane for the windshields themselves, uh, you need an electric caulk gun or you've got to have some really good muscles in your hands because, I mean, I was putting the urethane in and it was straining to keep a bead going in there and you really want a pretty consistent bead going around as you're putting it in. So that electric caulk gun, I got a cheap one at uh, Lowe's that went with a Ryobi set um, and I, I can't remember how much it was, it wasn't that much, $28, maybe 30 bucks. But it made a huge difference in being able to lay that urethane down in a consistent bead going around the, uh, the windshield frame itself. Um, it's on the truck, looks great. So I'm happy about that. Uh, if you're putting a, a windshield in an existing frame, uh, what you want to do is cut away the excess urethane um, before you lay down new, ur new urethane. But you don't necessarily have to primer the frame, but you do need to primer the glass. So try to get some primer with the urethane that you buy if you buy some kind of kit. I got my kit on eBay um, from some glass company, uh, and it wasn't that expensive for the kit itself. Uh, I'm David from Redneck Garage. See you clearly. Ha, 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 ha.